Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, we're going to be doing an Easter video. So, what I've got today is, I've got a couple of little ceramic bunnies that I have blue tacked or, um, I don't know what you call it in other countries. It's like that sticky tape you put posters out, that, that sticky stuff you put posters up with. So, we are going to pour um, acrylic pouring onto these. But it's it's actually got a double purpose because I'm pouring them on top of the canvas. So tomorrow's video will be a pearl pour, which uses great colors, um, great metallic colors. You pour over the top of those metallic colors and then you see them all rise to the surface and make all these real colorful pearl pearls. So um, it's a fun thing to do because you end up getting two kind of artworks out of the one um, process. But for today, we will be doing the bunnies. So what I've got is, I have Deco Art Extreme Sheens in Sterling Silver, Lavender Frost and Aquamarine. So the Sterling Silver actually comes out a very pearly colour. It's quite light. Um, it's not very silvery. It's more of a white pearl colour. And we're going to be drizzling over the top of these bunny rabbits to kind of give them um, like a 3D dripped effect, which um, actually, they look really cool. So what I have done is I have mixed the paints here. I've got two colors of each, um, two cups of each. I put 10 grams in each cup of this and then 10 grams of Australian Floetrol. So Floetrol is a pouring medium, well, it's actually a paint conditioner, but you use it as a pouring medium in acrylic um, art, in acrylic pouring. So I've put them together, I've stirred them, and I always give them an extra little stir before I use. So we're just gonna give a quick little mix. I've only mixed these about 10, 10 minutes ago. So I'm actually really excited. I haven't done one of these in, I don't know if it's been one or two years now. And you get these cool effects and then because I've, I'm pouring it on top of a canvas I don't want to waste any of the paint so then I get to do uh, another um, acrylic pouring on top of the canvas and get that really cool pearl effect so it's kind of a, a bonus you kind of get to do two different artworks using the same paints because when you pour it over a lot of it drips down so I might put them more in the middle of the canvas because I don't want I want the the colour in the middle. So for now, let's kind of go, I might go the teal first or the aqua, aquamarine. So all we're going to do is just drizzle it over the top and just let it run down the sides. I'm going to do the same over on this bunny. Always start at the top parts and try to get them covered first. And it doesn't matter that at the moment it looks all t um, aquamarine. It will, once you add the other colours, it will pour over the top of them and kind of drip off and create more different ones. Now we're going to go some pearl. Oops. So this pearl does actually feel thinner than the aquamarine. So when you're pouring it, just try to make sure that you are getting all the surfaces. Because you don't want to leave any little bald spots. So if you were to do this without having a canvas underneath, you're just wasting a lot of paint. And I don't want to waste any. Um, paint's not always cheap. So by doing it this way, you're kind of getting... I'm going to... I'm not going to be able to get anything underneath that ear. It's not going to run down properly. So I'm just going to dab a little bit on a couple of those little bald spots now. Because once the paint's already there, it will flow over the top of it easier. So that's, yeah, that other ear's done. 
and just a little bit of the bottom side of this ear here. And has he got any in his little eardrum? Yeah. And now we can drizzle more over the top. And it doesn't matter if you cover up a bit that you're like, oh, I like that bit. You, as, as you pull more, you will get all different effects come through. Just going to try and dab a little bit so sometimes the paint just doesn't want to roll over a bald like a ceramic part so you help it along a little bit and then the paint will continue to flow over that section okay so now we're going to go back with the teal again trying Get a couple of those spots where I can see the paint hasn't gone yet. So if you weren't going to use a canvas underneath, you could just be a little bit more particular about where you placed it. Or you could, instead of actually pouring it out of a cup, you could use like a pop stick and actually drizzle it in certain spots. But... I'm going with what I know. Still got more in there. I'm going to save that bit. Now, just checking all the way around to see if there's any spots that don't have paint yet. A little bit on this one's belly and a little bit on this one's belly and his tail. So I'm going to try and get down to that tail. There we go. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. Haven't got a perfect camera angle yet for my art room. It's been a work in progress for a while now. I'm just scraping out the rest of the paint. Who wants to waste paint? Okay. That's that cup done. And as you can see, they're virtually covered and I've still got more paint. So I may have made up a little bit more than I needed, but it doesn't matter. Gives the opportunity to play around a little bit. But I thought these colours will actually suit my house well. Um, being a bloke, I don't have a lot of um, pinks and apricots and peaches in my house. I've got blues, purples, greens and a lot of grey. So um, I try and pick colours a lot that actually suit. If it's an artwork for myself, I try and pick things that are going to suit my place. So, it just depends if I'm making an artwork for myself or whether I'm making it for somebody else. But these ones are mine. Easter's next weekend for us here. Oh, actually, I think it's Easter everywhere at the same time. So... I've got a bit over a week to enjoy these guys. I'll probably keep them out a bit longer than actually just Easter. And being paint, it will continue to flow so like where it's sitting right now, it will continue to pull down and change um, probably for another 30 minutes or so until um, the paint starts to dry and loses that um, 
stretching or pulling effect. So I'm just checking. I can see a little bald spot on this guy's belly still. So we're going to go a bit more and try and get it to go straight down. Got it. So I need this paint on the canvas anyway, so I'm just going to keep pouring it over. I'm going to do little ribbons, I think. Um, let's get some teal. So you could stop whenever you want. I'm having fun. That's what art is all about for me. Oh, it's got to be covered then. He's having fun. So with this um, sterling silver, that looks more like a pearl, as it stretches down, you actually start to see some of the colours underneath. So you do get kind of a, a double effect by it. All right, we're going to go a little bit more. I want more colour. And I'm going to do it a little bit more slower this time. Get a slow, steady, thin stream. And then just do some bands across. Just having a look at them. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go any more of the pearl. I might just go more of the green. And I'm going to do the same type of banding, but I'm going to go in a slightly different angle. Just for that different effect. How's that looking? And if you want to, like I said, you can just scoop some on your pop stick and just do a little stream or a little dot here just to give it a slightly different effect on that one area. If you think there's an area which is quite solid in colour. And this side has got quite solid. As it runs down, it kind of grabs the other paint and pulls and stretches in these patterns. I think I'm liking how they look. Sorry if my head keeps getting in the way, I'm just trying to get all angles so I can see what I'm... I want a purple drizzle running down this guy's front. There. Just to break up that green a little bit. Another little drizzle right there. And like I said, they will change a little bit more still. One on the back of the head. And you're going to get one right here. Which way are you going to run? You're going to run that way. Cool. I'm really happy with these guys. So they're mostly, I reckon the teal is probably being more dominant than the other colour. But you can definitely see pearl and um, purple showing through. And I am really pleased. So what I've got to do now is just set these aside because I need to paint on this canvas. So 
let me just move that over a little bit to there. So what I'm going to do is set these rabbits aside because they're on that, they're blue tacked to, to that little um, stand. So now all I really have to do is kind of pick up the stand and move them across. But I'm going to put a glove on for that because I don't want to get paint all over me. Now, just make sure you put them somewhere flat and safe. <laughs> key, question, key thing, safe. Um, you can put them on anything, but I find if you put them on something underneath that is smaller, then you get that proper runoff effect and you don't kind of get a blob. Because even once I peel these off when they're dry, you'll have a little bit of paint that's kind of like the overflow that's touching the cup and the rabbit. So that way there, you're kind of just um, maneuvering it a little bit without doing too much. This is actually a hard part to do um, because these are just a plastic flexible cup so I'm just going to move these very gently over to here without touching the rabbit at all and then what I will do is this here I will show you these when they're dry and how they look so the Extreme Sheen is a very metallic, um, this paint, it's a very metallic paint, shimmers really, really well. Um, so that is what we're doing. So now this is not wasted, this canvas, I'm going to pour the rest of these paints out and I'll do tomorrow's video now, virtually, because I don't want this to dry. And you will see the cool effect of what we call a pearl pour when these metallic colours will actually shine up and come through the top color that I'm going to pour over the top. And it gives a really awesome effect. So make sure you stay tuned or come back and see that one as well. But Easter video, um, doing a collaboration with Claire's Crafty Corner. So she's like doing Easter video. So I've made the bunnies and that's my little thing for this year. And um, let me know what you think, but we'll be back when they're dry to show you what they look like. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye. Okay, everyone. So here we are. I've come outside into the sunlight, but as you can see, it's a completely overcast day. So I'm not getting the full shimmery effect of these metallic rabbits. But um, this is how these little guys look. As you can see, there's heaps of little details running through. They've come out more teal, which is probably the way I wanted them to be. I could have actually um, used the other colours a little bit more stronger to get more of those colours dominating, but um, the teal is what I wanted this time round. But you can see they look pretty cool. Slightly different effects on both. I'm trying to spin this around as I go. I don't know how focused I am. I can't do everything one-handed, holding the my mirror and my tray so you can see and the camera in the other hand. But um, they're really, really cute. So these are the metallic 3D poured bunnies. I'm gonna go in and get some pictures in natural, well, artificial light. Here we go. I'm heading back towards the house. So that's my front yard. But there, as you can see, quite cute little guys. This one's got quite a big purple area on his nose, but he's got really cool ear. Really cool ear. All right, we, I will go inside and actually get some more images. So we'll be back. Okay, here I am under artificial light. It's hard. I'm trying not to get too much reflections and I don't want to drop this in my artwork that's wet underneath where I am. But um, you can see the cool effect that they give off. Um, how am I going to do this? So I've got a big wet artwork right underneath. So I cannot get that, drop anything in that. So I'm trying to do this. 
probably and failing. Let's see if I can spin it all the way around. So see how you've got that effect running all the way around the bunnies, the dripping kind of look. And that shimmer will shine a lot better in better lighting. Um, also, if I chose to resin these as well, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do, um, if I poured resin over the top, that would highlight um, the shimmer even more. Even a spray varnish would probably do the same thing. So, go back to this angle and move so I don't drop them. Okay. Well, this is it for that. So, I hope you guys like this. I'm going to try and get some proper photos where I can actually put things down and use both hands. But, um, yeah. Hope you had fun. This is little Easter bunnies. And um, this is the Claire's Crafty Corner collaboration where we're doing Easter themes. And um, I will see you soon for another um, artwork. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye.